One of the number one goals that people have when it comes to fitness is to get a flat stomach. And there are a lot of myths and misconceptions about how to go about doing this. The biggest mistake that you'll typically see people make when they're trying to do this is they try to crunch the flat stomach into place. So they do sit-ups and they do leg raises and crunches and they use ab machines and at the end of it all, they still don't have a flat stomach. And the same is totally true for a six pack. A flat stomach with six pack abs can't be achieved by just doing crunches. In fact, it usually has very little to do with performing any ab exercises whatsoever. Obviously, we do want to do ab exercises to build up the muscles underneath the fat, but typically people are trying to burn their belly fat through ab exercises, and that will never ever work. The truth is the best way to burn the belly fat and to acquire a flat stomach is not through targeted fat burning. Unfortunately, there's no way to target any one part of your body for fat loss. The fundamental truth about fat loss is that either you're pretty much burning fat or you're not. There's no in-between. There's no burning fat from your arms while not burning fat from your thighs. When your body is using fat for energy, aka burning fat, that means that your whole body is utilizing its fat stores for energy, which means that you're going to be burning more fat from your stomach and your toes and your hands and your arms and your face all at the same time. Well, not exactly at the same time. The, the way that it actually works is usually your body will choose the most distal areas first. So it'll choose to burn fat from your face and your hands and your feet before the fat loss moves closer to the midline of your body to areas like your hips, your love handles, and your stomach, unfortunately. The point is you can't control or target where your fat loss comes from. The only thing that you have control over is whether you're burning fat or not. And that is the only way that we could affect whether our stomach is flat or not. If the reason for why our stomach isn't flat in the first place is due to body fat, that is. There are some people that don't have too much excess body fat on their stomach, but their stomach still protrudes outwards. And this is a rare issue that can be caused due to poor inner ab strength. Here, a muscle known as the transverse abdominus is weak, and that causes the abs to protrude out. The transverse abdominus is responsible for pulling your abs in and giving you that flat stomach look. And you would strengthen the transverse abdominus with exercises like planks and exercises in which you would be drawing your navel in. Now, the thing that you do have to keep in mind is that usually, like I'm talking 9.9 out of 10 times, this is not the issue. The issue is too much body fat and the only way to reduce that body fat is either by exercising a whole lot or by consuming less total calories while keeping insulin levels lower on a daily basis. There are a number of different ways that you can go about doing this, but the most basic way to get a flat stomach without counting calories is by sticking to real natural single ingredient foods and limiting portion size. It's really easy to find a list of real healthy natural food. Um, in these lists, you're going to be finding su ingredients such as lean sources of protein like white fish, chicken breast, and egg whites, which by the way, you should be having a source of protein in pretty much every meal when trying to burn fat. For your carbs, you want to go with slow digesting or low glycemic carbohydrates such as brown rice, sweet potatoes, oatmeal, and other complex carbs like those. But keep in mind, regular white rice and regular potatoes can still help you lose weight as well because it's real food. Whereas, for example, bread that you'll find on the shelves, I wouldn't consider that as a real source of carbohydrates unless you find it in a freezer. It's Ezekiel bread. For your veggies, the green ones are by far the best for fat loss because they have tons of vitamins and they hardly have any calories. And then for fats, you just want to pick some healthy sources like avocados or almond butter or olive oil or egg yolks. But again, you just want to make sure that these are natural, real sources. Then all you got to really do is focus on portioning out your foods. And even though there's no way to give a definitive guide for everyone because everyone would have different portions based on their different weights. So I could give you a general guideline using your hands. 
because the good thing with your hands is that if you weigh more, usually your hands are bigger. If you weigh less, usually your hands are smaller. So all you would really have to do would be make sure that you have about a palm, all the way up to a palm and a half of protein, lean protein in every one of your meals three to four times a day. Then have about one to two cups of cooked complex carbs for the day, depending on your weight, and have about two tablespoons or two servings of fat for the day. The daily carb and fat amounts would be divided across your three or four meals. And then just throw in a fist of veggies, a fist, okay, with each meal. Again, these are just general guidelines. If you're eating real whole foods that you're going to find in the outside aisles of your grocery store, so the perimeter of the grocery store, and if you portion out those foods, which I show how to do in more depth in many of my other videos, you're going to be on track to flatten out that stomach. That's it guys. I really hope this video has helped you guys out. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave it a big thumbs up, comment below, and subscribe to this channel to see more tips and tricks just like this one. See you guys next time.